Filled with awe and excitement, Mary decided to visit her relative Elizabeth, who lived in the hill country of Judea. Mary set out and traveled with haste to a town in the hills where Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah lived. As soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Mary responded with a hymn of praise to God, known as the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel his servant remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. During this time, Elizabeth gave birth to her son, who would become known as John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus. This visit strengthened both women as they shared the miraculous works God was performing in their lives.